Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we are all coming online, can we just lift up our hand and begin to appreciate our Lord, our God? Let's lift up our hand and begin to worship Him and adore Him. Today is day three. Let's appreciate Him for first day. Let's appreciate Him for second day. Let's appreciate Him for tonight, the third night of this ministration. Restore me, O Lord. Let's appreciate Him for what He has done day one. Let's appreciate Him for what He has done in our life, in your life, in my life, in day two. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate Him for what He's going to do tonight and after this night. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Let's worship Him. Let's adore Him. I want you to open your mouth and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for adding melody to our life. Should that person, the Lord is saying, I should welcome you with that word, with that statement that is adding melody to your life. So if you are the person that has, that has, that has for the past month, for the past weeks, for the past years, there's nothing like joy in your life. But God is saying tonight, is adding melody. is adding songs of victory, songs of joy to your life. So if you are that person, why not just lift up your hand, and I appreciate him. Why not just lift up your hand and bless him? Why not just lift up your hand and give him thanks and give him praise and worship him? Our Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. I want you to lift up your hand and say, Father, as I have come before you tonight, the third night of this month, the third night of this ministration, see, oh Lord, my God, visit me tonight. 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 As the Lord God to visit you tonight. As the Lord God to visit your home, your marriage, your business, your career, everything that concerns you. As the Lord God to visit you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Lord, my God, visit me tonight. 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 Visit my home, my marriage, my business, my career. My Lord, my God, visit me tonight. Everything that concerns me, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer before we pray it unto the living God. As the Lord God to visit you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, visit me tonight. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. Visit my business. Visit my career. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord God to visit you tonight. Say, my Lord, my God, visit me tonight. 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 Father, visit me tonight. Visit my life. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. Visit my business. Visit my career. Visit everything that concerns me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Sweet Holy Spirit, as you have come before you tonight, I decree, I declare that heavens of testimony, heavens of restoration, heavens of joy, Lord, let it open upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Do that which only you can do in our life. Do that which only you can do in our midst. And at the end, take all glory, Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us to tonight, the last night of these three days. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. If you are just joining us for the very first time, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. My name is Ariola Orelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. For this month, by 
the leadings of the Holy Spirit, the Lord said he wants to restore us. So we will be waiting upon the Lord God from the day one of this month. Today is day three. Restore me, O Lord. And uh, we are riding it up to tonight with anointing for total restoration. Anointing for total restoration. Anointing for total restoration. Anointing for total restoration. Praise the Lord. Please, those of us on our online church, can one or two people help me confirm the audio. Number one, we are going to take some prayer. Number two, we look at the restoration God is going to restore. What is that restoration? And um, we pray, take some prayer before we round it up and we leave the rest unto the to the hand of Holy Spirit. We are to do our part. Is the is the one that have the finance here. But if he asks us to come and ask us to ask for this thing. Number one, he asks us to come. Number two, he asks us to ask for restoration. So you are sure, I am sure, that he's going to do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ma. I've seen the message. The audio is okay. Thank you, ma. Amen. I'm going to, I sent a message out this afternoon, this evening. Our children, today, Saturday, during their prayer meeting, I gave them assignment. Please, ma, please, sir. I want you to help me encourage them. Thank you, those of us on Facebook, too. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Please, sir, if you are a parent, I've sent the message out. No matter the age. That was the reason why I sent it out. Please, no matter their age, help me encourage them to pray it. Every morning, every night. For five minutes. Five minutes every morning. Five minutes every night. Please let me encourage them to pray that prayer. Amen. It was the prayer, one of the prayer that they pray. Amen. Because I was taking them on the topic, hearing from God. And uh, this evening we look at what are those things that can hear the voice of God. It's not only human beings that hear the voice of God. There are many other things that can hear the voice of God. And uh, from there we look at uh, one of it is um, Matthew twenty one twenty one Matthew twenty one twenty one Jesus Christ said if you speak to the mountain the mountain will move many of us we are looking at oh that word uh, see this physic no mountain represent obstruction mountain represent hindrance what are those obstruction in your life what are those obstruction in our family what are those things that stand as obstruction what are those things that are hindering us from moving forward and upward? Please, Matthew 21, 21, let me encourage them. That is what we are asking from you parents. Starting from tomorrow morning now, please, when you wake them, hold on with them. Just tell you, remind them, your pastor said you should pray for us. Am I right? They will tell you, yes. So let's pray. You look at the scripture, you read it, Matthew 21, 21, and they turn into prayer. What is the prayer? every mountain every hindrances every obstruction before my family they will not mention their family name their the family's name my son name is ariola so when my children are going to pray they pray every mountain every hindrance every obstruction before the Ariola's family, before our family, the Ariola's family, in the name of Jesus, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. Just one prayer. That is all. In the night, they take it five minutes again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They take it Saturday morning and we come back Saturday evening. Your children cannot pray for you and that won't be testimony. Your pray, your children cannot pray for the family. That won't be testimony. So please, uh, please, ma, help me encourage them. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So on that note, you parent too, you are going to start it because it runs from your head as a parent. So we are going to look at it. We start tonight prayer from that place. Matthew 21, 21. Matthew 21, 21. Open your Bible, please. Because the children must open their Bible and read it. So, for you to show good example, you too, open your Bible. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
Matthew 21, 21. I want us to pray it. Let's rehearse. When we pray it here, so tomorrow morning when you are encouraging them, you know how to guide them. Matthew 21, 21. And Jesus answered, said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, it shall be done. So lift up your hand, parent, daddy and mommy, lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus, say every mountain, every obstruction, every hindrance before my family, the Ariola's family. Thank you for mentioning Ariola's family. <laughs> Amen. Can we take it again? Say in the name of Jesus, say according to Matthew 21, 21, every mountain, every obstacle, every obstruction, every hindrance standing to hinder us standing to divert our joy standing to stop our joy in this family the Ariola's family according to matthew 21 21 be thou removed be 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 removed can you begin to decree and declare as parent everything that represents hindrances everything that stands as obstacle everything that stands as to hinder your testimony to hinder to stop to, to divide your testimony in that family say be thou removed in the name of jesus you are mountain be thou removed be thou removed be removed be removed be removed command them to be removed any mountain any obstruction any hindrances that stand against our testimony, that stand against our joy, be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. Pray that prayer, daddy and mommy. Let the Lord God remove those obstacles from your family in the name of Jesus. Anything that stands as mountain, anything that stands as obstacle, anything that stands as obstruction, anything that stands as hindrance to start that hinder your testimony, that stand to divide your testimony, that stand to stop your joy this month. Say in the name of Jesus, according to Matthew 21 21, be removed, 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 be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Command them to be removed. 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 Decree and declare. Every mountain, every obstacle, every obstruction, every hindrance. Be removed. 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 Command them to be removed. In the name of Jesus. Command them to be removed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every obstacle, every hindrance in your life, in your marriage, every obstacle that stands against our family, the Ariola's family, in the name of Jesus, be removed, 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 be removed. In Jesus' name, they are removed. In Jesus' name, they are removed. Jesus said, when you ask, when you pray, when you decree, it shall be removed. As you and I have decreed and declared against every mountain life structure, against obstacles, against hindrances, against obstruction that want to stop us, that may want to divert our testimony, our joy, this very month, the Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. That is it. Please, I'm begging us again. Help me encourage them tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. Uh, continue like that till Saturday morning. Saturday morning, before Saturday morning, every one of us, our family, we shall all have testimony in the name of Jesus. Praise see the Lord. When they come on Saturday, I want to hear their testimony. So please, again, help me encourage them. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. The second prayer for tonight, Hosea 6, 1 and 2. The book of Hosea. The book of Hosea. Hosea is after the book of Daniel. Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. 
Osea chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Osea chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Come, and let us return unto the Lord. He hath torn, he will heal us. He has meeting, he will bind us up. Praise the Lord. Then verse 2. After two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. After, not on the second day. After two days. After two days, he's talking about the third day. Am I right? So today is our third day and this is our third night. So the Bible says, after two days, that means on the, the day after the uh, two days, which is the third day, God will revive us. So you are going to take the first prayer there. Oh Lord my God, say tonight, arise, oh Lord, revive every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, revive every area of my life. Begin to pray it unto the living God. So Lord my God, tonight, arise in your power. Revive every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, arise in your power. Revive every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that prayer. Ask the Lord God to revive every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord. Revive my life. Revive my marriage. Revive my business. Revive my career. Revive my health. Revive my business. Revive my marriage. Revive the work of my hand. Revive everything that concerns me. My spiritual life. Revive it. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to declare and declare? Let God arise and revive every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, tonight, arise in your power. Revive my life. Revive my hope. Revive my marriage. Revive my business. Revive my career. Revive me, O Lord. Revive me, O Lord. Revive me, O Lord. Revive me, O Lord. Ask the Lord God to revive you. Ask the Lord God to revive every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, after the second day, he will revive us. Today is the uh, today is the day after the second day. Say, Lord, today, revive me, revive my life, 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 revive my life. Pray that prayer. Let the Lord God revive you in the name of Jesus. Let God revive the work of your hand. Anything that is not working in your life, let God revive them. In the name of Jesus. Anything that is not working very well, ask the Lord God to revive them. Your business, your career, let God revive them. Your marriage, let God revive it. Your head, let God revive your head. In the name of Jesus. Your spiritual life, let that be revival. 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 Ask the Lord God to revive you. In the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord God to revive your life. Ask the Lord God to revive your home. Ask the Lord God to revive your marriage. Your wife, your husband, your children. Say, revive us, O Lord. 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 As I look to revive you. As I look to revive your life. As I look to revive every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, revive me, revive this ministry. Pray in the Goose Network. Oh Lord, my God, let that be revival. Let that be revival. Let that be revival. Let that be revival. Revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me. Every area of my life, Father, revive us. Revive me, oh Lord. Revive my life. Revive my marriage. Revive my business. Revive my career. Revive my wife, revive my children, every members of this ministry all over the world. Father, revive us, 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 revive us. Pray that prayer. Let God revive you in the name of Jesus. Let God revive you. Let God revive your life, your head. Let that be revival in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Ask the Lord God to revive you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, revive me, O Lord. Revive my wife, revive my children, revive my work, revive my business, revive my career. Pray that prayer one minute more. Let God revive you. 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 In Jesus' name, you are revived. He said, in the third day, 
So if you don't understand what he was talking about, he now mentioned in the third day. This is our third day. This is our third night. So what is going to happen this night? He will raise us up. Those of you online on Facebook, please, that what you have in your Bible? Praise the Lord. Mommy, today, is that what you have in your Bible? Everybody, that's the reason I asked us to open our Bible. Hosea says, verse 2. On the third day, he will raise us up. On the third day, day three is for revival. Day three is day for restoration. It's day for resurrection. On the third day, he will revive us. Jesus Christ died. On the third day, what happened? Jonah was inside the belly of the ocean. On the third day, what happened? Lazarus was dead and buried. On the third day, what happened? So, Lord my God, say this third day, raise me up in the name of Jesus. Where I have fallen in the journey of life, where my marriage has fallen, where my business has fallen, where my destiny has fallen, where my glory has fallen, where my star has fallen. So, Lord my God, raise me up in the name of Jesus. Raise me up. Raise me up, 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 as the Lord God to raise you up in the name of Jesus. As the Lord God to raise you up. Say Lord, raise me up tonight. Raise my business up, raise my career up. Raise my marriage, raise my children, raise my wife, raise my husband. Mention every area of your life. Ask the Lord God to raise you up in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing in your life, whatever area of your life that is not performing well, say, Lord, tonight, face it us, face it me, raise me up in the name of Jesus. Mention that area of your life. Let God raise you up in the name of Jesus. Let God raise you up in the name of Jesus. Let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, now begin to mention the name of your wife, the name of your husband, and your children. Mention them. So, Lord, raise them up. In the name of Jesus, your husband mention him, your wife mention her, your children mention their name. Say, so Lord, raise us up. In the name of Jesus, raise us up. Raise us up. Raise us up. Raise us up. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Before we leave this place and go to the next prayer, please everybody in the next two minutes can we all stand up can we all stand up i know you have been working since morning don't worry tonight we are not the holy spirit will lead us i believe to round up in within the short period of time please can we just be on our feet receive grace unless if you are logging in from your office if you are from the house please can you just stand up put the phone down put the phone down if there's somebody your husband your wife or your children beside you please hold their hand together hold their hand if not just imagine that you are holding my hand i'm i'm from the studio now so i'm imagine that i'm holding your hand praise the lord sister christy i am i'm having the picture of you standing beside me that i'm holding your hand right now praise the lord Mommy, favor, I can see you beside me. You say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Amen. Mommy Agunda, by faith, I can see myself holding your hand. Praise the Lord. So that uh, when I finish, my wife will not tell me that you go back and meet those people that you hold their hand. My wife, I can see you. I'm holding your hand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that she won't lock me outside and I say, you go back. You go back to your... <laughs> Amen. Are uh, we done that? Just just picture yourself holding your husband, your wife, your children. If they are there, please hold them. If not, just imagine that you are holding my hand or you are holding them. If you are parents, you have children all over the world, just imagine that you are holding their hand. Can you feel their hand? My wife, can you feel my hand in your hand now? That woman will just be smiling. Not like me. <laughs> Amen. Are we are we ready? I saw sister, my sister from Abuja. Sister Yemi, are you, are you there? I want to be sure that my sister is there. Okay, yes. So my sister, just imagine that you are holding my hand right now. Are we ready? 
Say in the name of Jesus, so Lord our God, say I present my family. Now mention your family. Say I present my family before you. Say I present our family before you. So Lord our God, restore us, O Lord. Raise us up, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Can you now begin to pray for your family? If you are there, your family is there, you are holding them. Now begin to pray together. Prayer of agreement. So Lord my God, say as we hold our hand together by faith. Say Lord, raise us up. Raise our family up. Where we are falling, Lord, tonight, raise us up in the name of Jesus. Raise us up in the name of Jesus. Raise us up. Don't open your hand. As you are holding it, you are holding somebody. Say, oh Lord, my God, every of my family member that we are holding ourselves together by faith, let's say, Lord, lift, lift us up, raise us up, revive us, raise us up in the name of Jesus. Now, can you begin to pray for your family? As you are holding the hand, begin to pray together. Let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, let God raise you up. Let God raise your family. In the name of Jesus, as you are praying for your family, I join my faith with your faith. I hold down together with you by faith. And I declare, I declare, let God raise your family. In the name of Jesus, let God raise your family. Let God raise your work. Let God raise your family. Let God raise you up. Let God raise your family. You, your husband, your wife, your children. Let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, let God raise you up. In the name of Jesus, let God raise you up. Your family, that family, I pray for you. I join my faith with your faith. I hold on together with you, Sir Ama, and I declare, I declare, let God raise you up. Let God raise you. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. As I have declared, I declare concerning your family, the Lord will raise your family up in the name of Jesus. From shame, from reproach, from setback, from delay, from denial, the Lord raise you up in the name of Jesus. The work of your hand, the work of every member of your family, tonight, the day three, the, the third night of this ministration, I declare, I declare, the God of heaven and earth raise you up in the name of Jesus, lift you up in the name of Jesus, raise you up in the name of Jesus, lift you up in the name of Jesus, raise you up in the name of Jesus, lift you up in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. We can have our seat. Once again, we are welcome to tonight. Quickly, uh, Allah said, I've delivered it, but let me repeat it again. Allah said, It's adding melody. You know the meaning of melody? M E L O D Y. Am I right? Melody. Say, It's adding it to your life. If you are that person, congratulations. Then another person, he said, I should just tell you, I don't know what the letter is. I was not giving the duty, but the Spirit of the Lord just said, I should tell you, that concerning that letter, you will rejoice. So you, that person, that you are waiting for one letter, you are expecting letter, in the name of Jesus, the Lord said, you will rejoice. So I declare, I declare, concerning that letter, you will rejoice in the name of Jesus. You will rejoice, 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 you will rejoice in the name of Jesus. You will rejoice in the name of Jesus. You will rejoice in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus' name. Day three, please, if you have any document that you want us to pray with, you are there with that document, or you are not in all, please hold them in your hand. You want me to join you and pray on any document, just hold them in your hand. You have your anointing oil with you. Please hold them in, in your hand. Praise it the Lord. Let me hold my own in my hand too. Praise it the Lord. You are not in oil. Hold it in your hand. You have document to pray. Amen. Hold it in your hand. Praise it the Lord. Joel 2, 25. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I will restore to you the years which the locust has eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillars and the palmer worms, my great army which I sent among you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, sir, I should tell you, man. All the years which the destroyers, which the wasters have wasted resources, wasted your efforts, wasted everything that concerns you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that you should not worry that He's going to restore you in the name of Jesus. I will restore 
What is it to restore? I try to look at dictionary, and dictionary gave me six different meaning. To restore, six different meaning. Number one, restore means to repair. To repair. R-E-P-A-Y. To repair something. Praise it the Lord. Get ready. What is the meaning? God is ready to repair any damage or broken relationship, any damage or broken dreams, broken vision, your health that is damaged, your life that is damaged, your business that is damaged, your emotion that is damaged. The Lord is saying is ready to restore it. And restore it to restore means to repair. So every one of you that any area of your life have been damaged or has been broken, tonight I decree, I declare anointing for restoration, anointing for God to repair that vision, that dream, that, that area of your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. To restore means to repair. Number two, to restore means to bring back, put together, or to give back. To restore means to bring back, to put back, or to give back. Praise the Lord. Hear what the Lord God is saying. Whatever the enemy have taken from your life, whatever the enemy have diverted from your life, whatever the enemy have seized from your life, the Lord God is saying is bringing them back in the name of Jesus. Your glory, your honor that the enemy have taken from you in the name of Jesus. And nothing for restoration and nothing for you to receive them back. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Number three. Restore means to make good. Something that is not good, when you make it good, you fine tune it. Praise it the Lord. I don't know the position that you are. I don't know the position that you have found yourself. I don't know the posi position your wife has found herself. I don't know the position your husband has found himself. I don't know the position your children, your business, your health, your academy, your finance. I don't know the, the position or the situation that you have found yourself right now. But that is not good. To restore means to make good. So hear me, sir. Hear me, man. When God is saying he's want to restore, it simply means any position, any situation that you have found yourself, your wife found herself, your husband found himself, your children found themselves, you find your business, you find your health, you find your, your academy, you find your finance, everything that concerns your health. The Lord is saying he will make it good. 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 He said he have the power to make what is not good. To, he have the power to make it good. So I decree, I declare upon every one of you in that situation, anointing for total turn around for good. Receive it in the name of Jesus. On that matter, on that situation, on that person, on that thing, anointing to make good, anointing to make good, anointing to make good, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. And when 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 I was writing this down in my notes, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw a car. I saw a car. The car has been granted. Was not there's nothing this this person have not done about the car, but the car refused to move. And the Lord said, I will make it good. Every one of you, that car represents your life, it represents your business, it represents your head. Anything that stopped the, uh, moving forward and upward, anything that stopped good, anything that stopped doing well in your life. Today, anointing for turn around, anointing that will make it good. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. Anointing to make good. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Number four, to restore means to reinstate. You were there before. But you are removed. You find yourself out. So to restore means to reinstate. Have you lost your job? Have you lost your position? Have you lost your marital seat? Have you lost your joy? What is that thing? What is that position? What is that seat of honor that you have lost? What is that trust that you have lost? Amen. Hear me. To restore means to reinstate. I decree, I declare that position of honor. That position of honor that you have lost, 
you that woman, that your marital seat, that the glory of your marriage that you have lost. Every one of you that you have lost your honor, you have lost your position, you have lost your glory in the name of Jesus. From that position, from that point of honor that you have been you have been sent out, I decree, I declare, and not for you to be reinstated back to that position. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive it. Whatever position that you have lost in the name of Jesus, and not for you to be reinstated in the name of Jesus, receive it now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Number five. To restore means to bring back to normal. To bring back to normal shape or former state. To bring back to normal state, normal shape or former position. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Is that a setback in your life? Is that a diversion of your glory? Is that a perversion in your life? Is that a manipulation that set into your life? Is that a manipulation that set into your marriage? Is that a manipulation that set into your head? Hear what the Lord God is saying. To restore simply means to bring back to normal position, to normal shape. Any area of your life that had entered into manipulation, that had entered into diversion, that had entered into setback, today, anointing for that area to be reinstated back in the name of Jesus, to the right position, to the right shape. Every organ of your body, the manipulation setting, and they are not performing well. Your business, your career, the manipulation setting, and they are not in the right to in that position today anointing for you for them to to be repositioned back to be reinstated back and not you for that thing to be restored back to the original shape receive it in the name of jesus 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 number six somebody say number six number six restore simply means to recover reconstruct when something is not good you reconstruct it praise the lord jeremiah 32 verse 27 uh, jeremiah 32 verse 27 says, behold i am the lord the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me i behold i am the lord the god of all flesh all flesh all flesh i don't know the organ of your body that is not working right well right now I don't know the health issue that you are having, and medically it cannot be possible again. I don't know the challenge that you are having, health-wise, and medically, humanly speaking, it cannot be possible again. Here, he said, I'm the Lord God of all flesh. That organ, that part of your body that is having issue, is it not a flesh? It's a flesh. And God said, I'm the God of all flesh. I decree, I declare, I'm not you to, re to reconstruct. And nothing for that organ to be reconstructed. And nothing for that thing to be reconstructed and make it good. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hear this, sir. Hear this, man. Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. Genesis 1, Genesis 2. There is a position. Just like the one I said. That means to bring back to normal position, to normal shape. There is a position. There is a place, there is a way God have wired or God have created us. Genesis 1, Genesis 2. The original state of man in creation, before manipulation, before Satan setting. It's a state of fellowship and intimacy with God. The Bible says in the evening, Adam and God will begin to walk together and begin to have fellowship uh, together. Intimacy with God. Every one of you. That you have missed that fellowship, you have missed that intimacy with God. I decree, I declare that tonight, by the anointing that is coming upon you, let the Lord God restore you in the name of Jesus to that position of having fellowship with God, to that position where God will begin to journey with you in the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. The original state of man is a state of abundance. Everything you Adam was in the garden and he had everything, everything you have them in excess. Every one of you, that your life is missing one vital thing or the other. Your marriage, your business, your career is missing one good thing or the other. Today, anointing for you to be repositioned, to be restored back to the, to the state where God created man. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 
in that garden is a state of peace. Adam had peace. Even in his marriage between him and the wife, there was peace before manipulation set in. Every marriage online right now, every marriage, listen to me, that, that the peace of God is missing. Today, I decree, I declare, anointing for restoration, for your peace, the peace of God, to be restored back to that marriage. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 In Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Bible did not tell us that Adam, the wife, even when they started giving back to children, did not tell us that they fall sick. So, in, 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 in the state of man, the state, the position which God created man was for us to have a sun earth, not to fall sick at all. But it was after manipulation set in, after Satan set in, after Satan put his hand, his mouth, his leg, that men begin to fall sick. I decree, I declare upon any one of you online right now, any one of you listening to this message, that you are having health issue. Let the Lord God restore your health in the name of Jesus. Let God restore your health. Anointing for your head to be restored in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The state, the original state of man is a position of dominion, dignity, and honor. Dominion, subdue the earth, have dominion, position of dignity, position of honor. I pray for every one of you that you have missed that position. You don't, you, there's nothing for you to dominate again. Your dignity, your honor, you have lost it. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The anointing that you have received today is for you to be restored. It's for your dominion, the power for, of dominion to be restored. Your dignity, your honor to be restored. I declare, I declare, receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. When God created man, he said, be fruitful. Everything was just in order. Had them fruitful. There was no delay in childbearing. Even the animal, there, there was no delay at all. Here, Mr. Herman, that was the original position of man for us to be fruitful. I decree, I declare, every one of you online right now, every one of you with your anointing oil, if you are not with your anointing oil, just raise up your hand, please. Raise up your hand. If you are with your anointing oil, that was the reason I asked you to hold it to your hand. Every one of you that you need to be fruitful in one area or the other, maritally, business wise, I decree, I declare, anointing for you to be restored back to your original, to your position of, for you to be fruitful, for your marriage to be fruitful, for your business to be fruitful, for your career to be fruitful, for your imagination, for your thought, for your head to be fruitful. And that anointing, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The original state of man, the original position of man is the position of blessing, not of course. There was no cause. It was blessing. It was after manipulation setting that God caused them. I decree, I declare, because the Lord God has said that tonight you want to revive us. You want to restore us. I decree, I declare, anointing for you to be restored back to the position of being blessed. That your marriage is blessed. Your business is blessed. Everything about you will be blessed. And people will see you and they will call you blessed one. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing. Receive that anointing. Anointing to be blessed. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You see them. Joy. They have joy. Psalm 51 verse 10 says, restore my joy, restore my joy. Any one of you that you have lost, that was no joy, you have joy in that business before. You have joy in your home. You have joy in your marriage. Between you and your wife, it is full of joy. But now it is cut and rats. I decree, I declare upon that business. I decree, I declare upon that earth. I decree, I declare upon that marriage. The joy that is missing, the joy that you have lost, this month is our month of joy overflow in the name of Jesus. Anointing for your joy to be restored. Anointing for your joy to overflow. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the original position of man, man was not idle. Adam was busy. Adam was working. He was busy. Physical, he was busy. Spiritual, he was not idle. That is great exploit. Great exploit. I decree, I declare, every man in the house, every father in the house, every husband in the house, 
that you have lost your job, you have lost the work of your hand, you have lost resources, you have re the business that you put money to, you have lost everything. Hear me, sir, hear me, man. Anointing for you to be restored back to the position of great exploit. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive it in the name of Jesus. Adam talked to God. Adam, hear, Adam can hear God. And God talk to him. God can hear him. God will give him assignment. He will go and do it. Subdue. Do this. Do that. The first assignment was for him to name all the animals. And by the spirit, the inspiration of God in him, he began to name them. And the Bible said, whatever name he called them, and that is their name, he did not miss it. Because he could hear God. In the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare upon every one of you, anointing for you to be restored back to that position where when God is talking to you, when God is giving you instruction, when God is revealing it to you, you'll be able to grab it and understand it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. Anointing of total restoration. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up your hand. If you are not having anointing or with you, lift up your hand. You raise it up. You raise it above your head. You can see me on the screen. And if you are listening to the audio, lift up your right hand. Let it go above your head. Praise it, Lord. If you have your anointing or with you, raise it up. Father, I want to say thank you for this night. We bless your holy name for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for tonight. You assure us from your word that tonight you want to restore us, you want to raise us up. And we have come to receive anointing for restoration, anointing for revival, anointing for us to be lifted. Lord, let your power, the power of Holy Spirit, let it flow into that oil in the name of Jesus. The oil in your hand is no longer an ordinary oil. It has become the anointing oil of God. The power of God flow into it. The breath of God flow into it. In the name of Jesus, the Lord sanctify it. Any impurity in that hall, I ask, let the fire of God consume it in the name of Jesus. Every one of you online that you are not having anointing up, but you are having, you are, you, are, you are lifting up your hand. I decree, I declare, the anointing of Holy Spirit, the anointing of Holy Spirit, let it rest upon your hand in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Almighty God, let it come upon your hand in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Jesus' name. If you are not, if you are lifting up your hand, put your hand on your head. For those of us who are having our anointing, anoint your head, anoint your head, and put your head down and put the hand back, and you take this prayer. Oh Lord, my God, anointing for total restoration fall upon my life in the name of Jesus. Those of you who put hand on your head, begin to pray that prayer. Anointing for total restoration. My life is available. Four, 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 four. As I put that oil on your head, begin to pray that prayer. Anointing for total restoration. My life is available. Four, 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 four. Anointing for total restoration. My life is available. My marriage is available. My business is available. Anointing for total restoration. Four, 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 four. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up those of us who are having one document or the other. You have anything that you want us to pray? You have water. You want us to pray on water here. For your healing, lift it up. Just lift it up. I pray for every document lifted up right now. And nothing for you to test it, to have testimony concerning those documents. And nothing for approval. Let it rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon them. 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 Concerning that letter, as the Spirit of the Living God has said, you will rejoice in the name of Jesus. Those documents, Allah will have melody to them in the name of Jesus. You will all testify to the goodness of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Everybody put, on our, put your hand on your head. We are rounding up now. Let's not forget, we are already in Sunday. First Sunday of the month. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. 
If you have joined us for the very first time, by the grace of God, every Sunday, 12 noon Nigeria time, we meet on Facebook page, Praying Eagle, for our online Sunday service. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday, the Lord said, He wants to restore us. He wants to restore us. Everything we have lost. Not only restore, He wants to start this year, he want to raise the foundation of good thing the foundation of good thing i specifically mentioned that somebody you have missed it you have messed up in the journey of life Zachariah 1 verse 16 the lord is saying he is going to lift you he will restore you they have come to he have restored he have come back to you and uh, he will lift you up and he will restore you and the lord is saying every members of this ministry every members of this ministry specifically those who support i had it you know where i don't i don't had to it the lord is saying he want to raise the foundation of good things in our life and he specifically said there are some of you there are some of you he didn't mention him he didn't say man he didn't say woman he said there are some of them i want to restore them I want to restore them they are not qualified for restoration i don't know what you have done he said they are not qualified for the restoration everything around them he said but i want to restore them so that i can use them to build my house i want to restore them big time so that i will now use them please if you are that person as god restore you don't forget god don't go back again to sin don't go back to anything that will make god to be angry with you he said i want to restore you so that he will use you to build this house when god restore you it's not it's not it's not it's not something that is sweet or palatable let's tell ourselves the truth <laughs> that i gave my life holy and everything unto god ah no <laughs> but receive grace to journey with god because the more you journey with god the more he will be blessing you the more you journey with him the more he will bless you to the point that people will begin to suspect they will even say to your they will call you and say ah oh god what you do you don't do i might be that's nothing we tell them that they will believe they will know that it is just god that have mercy on you so i'm begging you are a man you are a woman it's like things are going down don't worry god is restoring you this year a kind of turn around that you are going to witness the kind of turn around that you are going to witness this year because he said he want to use you so please when god is fighting somebody there's no prayer you can pray there's nobody we can beg so please the moment god turn back to bless you to bless your world to bless your home stay with god stay with god the lord bless us in the name of jesus let's lift up our hand i declare I declare upon every one of us tonight being the third night of all us restore me your original glory that was lost right from your mother's womb up to this very present moment let it be restored in the name of jesus the original glory your glory of your life the glory of your marriage the glory of your business the glory of your career that you have lost tonight heaven restore them back in the name of jesus your glory that was confiscated by household wickedness by household enemy by household wishes and witchcraft where you have lived before where you are married before in the name of jesus tonight i decree i declare let that glory that was, that was consecrated, let it be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. Your glory that was imprisoned on any satanic altar tonight, as you are saying, amen, let it be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, your glory, let the Lord God restore it back to original state in the name of Jesus. Your glory that has been tampered with your glory that have sustained injury let god heal you and restore it back to original state in the name of jesus i decree i declare every counterfeit glory 
we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Every counterfeit glory, we set it on fire in the name of Jesus. We set it on fire. I 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 set it on fire. Every counterfeit glory upon your life, upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. This night, I decree, I declare, your glory that was altered by your parents, by your family member, your glory that was altered by people around you, known or unknown to you, your glory that was tampered with through food, through sex, through sleep, through dream, through wrong working position, through wrong job, through wrong location, any glory that was altered, I decree, I declare tonight, let everyone restore it back to original position in the name of Jesus. From tonight, your glory will arise and shine. From tonight, the glory of your life will begin to arise and shine. The glory of your marriage arise and shine. The glory of your business arise and shine. The glory of your career arise and shine. From tonight, the Lord will watch over you. The Lord will secure your glory. The Lord will preserve your glory in the name of Jesus. As mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord God surround his people with fire. I decree, I declare, starting from this night, as God restore back your original glory, the Lord will maintain security over it in the name of Jesus. Where you fell, where people fell in your family lineage, you will not fall in the name of Jesus. You will not fall. You will not fail. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every business owner in the house, I decree, I declare, the Lord will arise for your help in the name of Jesus. The Lord will arise for your help. He will arise for your help. He will arise for your help. He will arise for your help in the name of Jesus. Every man, every husband, every man, every husband, every father in the house that you are out of job, I decree, I declare, there are nothing of restoration for you to be restored back as a man, as a father, as a husband. In the name of Jesus, receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. The Lord restore you. In the name of Jesus, all our children, home and abroad, all our children, all over the world, wherever they are, the Lord preserve them. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will preserve them. 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 In the name of Jesus. We speak to Pray New Goods Network. The Pray New Goods Network, the hand of the Almighty God, for usual testimony shall rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Shall be from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. On daily basis, we shall see the hand of God, the manifestation of God in the name of Jesus. And to every one of you, whom God is using to support this vision with your seed, with your tithe, with your offering, with your prayer, with your cancer, I decree, I declare that this is in that God is talking about restoration. Everything you have lost, everything you have missed, everything you have lost, everything the enemy have taken from you, everything that they have taken from you, or no, or no, the Lord restore you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will lift you up your head. The Lord will say to you, the Lord will say to you, Every single sister, the Lord said to you in the name of Jesus. Every single brother, the Lord said to you in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb, the Lord said to you in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You can cover your oil, cover their oil, anoint your house. On Monday morning when you get to your office, anoint your office. You are the owner of that business and not the gate, the entrance of that place. Anoint it and uh, your seat. Anoint your seat. It's no longer ordinary seat again. Anoint it. It's a seat of honor. It's a seat for prestige people. And you begin to see the wonder of God in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can we lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord our God for tonight? Let's lift up our hand and appreciate God for this steady night. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate God. For the wonders for restoration that you and i will begin to see we begin to witness we begin to receive celebrate god appreciate him thank you lord we say thank you worship you in jesus name we pray you are there you have been blessed for the past three nights you are saying pastor i cannot be part of this ministry for three nights and i'll be blessed like this and i will not support the work of god you want to give an offering you want to give a seat towards it amen oh you are there you have sent your seed you have you have tagged it to this restoration lift up your hand 
I pray for every one of you lifting up your hand. May the Lord God bless you in the name of Jesus. May God confirm his word in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career. The next time I will hear from you, it shall be testimony of joy in the name of Jesus. Avalanche testimony of restoration in the name of Jesus. Every one of you online, every one of you that for day one, day two, day three, you are becoming, you are becoming. I pray for you. Your coming is your own seed. Will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Those of you that waited upon the Lord God for those three nights, I pray for you. You will not know shame in the name of Jesus. You will not know reproach. Any one of you that the enemy has, is, uh, that the enemy has stand that they must naked your glory. I pray for you. Anyone that tried to naked your glory, anyone that tried to push shame and reproach on you, the Lord will arrest them and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. The hand of God rests upon you. As every one of us go fully into this month, the sixth month, the month of June, the Lord will watch over us, the Lord will preserve us in the name of Jesus. Your life, your marriage, your business, your career will not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Your daily supply, your monthly supply, your, the Lord will make them available in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Jesus' name I pray. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Happy weekend and happy Sunday.